What's this thing? What is this? Oh. Oh, what? It's on the tip of my tongue. Cartoon catalog? No. Uh, uh, cartoon book. That's it. No. Oh, no. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, comic book. That's what it is. It's a comic book. Wow, it's been so long since I've done a comic book video. I just couldn't remember what this is. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you the comic books I bought in these two bags. I'm going to open up this box of comics I paid $73 for. This box of comics I paid $26 for. The corner's busted, so hopefully everything's okay inside. This package of comics from mycomicshop.com. And this box of comics from Facebook. Hello, you two friends and neighbor. It's a comic book video. Yes! I'm so excited. I haven't done a comic book video in a couple months. I love comic books. And I need to just do this video for me because I want to do it. I know a bunch of you guys have been saying, Hey, I subscribe to you because I like comic books and I miss your comic book videos. So this is for you guys. For you comic fans and the people that appreciate comic books, this video is for you. Uh, I don't know if it's good comic books. I, I actually don't even know what's inside these boxes because I ordered like six months ago. But I figure it's time to do some comic book videos. So this week, hopefully I can get a couple done because I have three or four long boxes that I've purchased in collections and a bunch of other little boxes. So, yes! Okay, so without talking any further let's just dig into these boxes okay let's open up this box see what's inside it this whole video is all gonna be surprises to me because it's a lot of stuff i just haven't had time to go through so it'll be fun okay i got this big box uh i have it marked that i paid 73 dollars for it it was about 70 comics it was a dollar a comic i can't imagine what i would have bought around that value i'm assuming it had some bronze maybe even some silver mixed in I don't remember. All I know is it's another lot that was kind of a mystery lot. Not a blind mystery lot, but one where I might not have seen everything or I just saw some pictures. Those are kind of my favorites to buy. Just little mini collections that are for a cheap price. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, this is looking fun. Okay, just looking inside the box, I see uh, a Bronze Age Astonishing Tales, number five. So I think this box is gonna be a lot of fun. So it was a bunch of bricks of comics in that box. And every single thing on the top of each brick, I just see, I mean, I see a King Conan here. That's probably a dollar, might be pushing it for buying that in bulk. But I am seeing stuff right off the bat that looks really interesting. I'm kind of excited for this lot because I don't remember what was in it. And it looks like it's all bronze to copper age stuff. First brick. Let's see what we got. We got King Conan number four. Looks like it's in really good shape. Oh, I hope all of them are in this sh good of a shape. This is nice. Dazzler number seven, really good shape. Dazzler number nine, great shape. Dazzler number 15, great shape. Holy guacamole. Holy. <laughs> okay, oh my God. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out here because I wasn't expect. Okay, so we have... A Daredevil 181. I mean, these are in really good shape. It looks very fine, the near mint. That's a probably 20 to $30 comic book. And <laughs> there's another copy that's very fine, the near mint. And there's another copy, very fine, the near mint. And another copy that's very fine, the near mint. And <laughs> another copy. <laughs> Holy crud. Oh, I want to curse, but I, I don't want to bleep myself. Holy bleep! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five copies. Very, very fine near mint copies. They look beautiful. They look like they haven't been touched. Wow. Okay, so that's already worth more than I paid, I think, 70 for the whole lot. I don't remember seeing five copies of that. So that's a surprise. Wow. Okay. Marvel team up number 96. Good shape with Howard the Duck. That's really cool. Well, I'm, I'm kind of speechless at the moment. <laughs> uh, I love when you buy a sort of mystery lot. I usually buy stuff kind of on a hunch. And I think in the pictures I did see that was all this kind of late bronze, early copper age stuff that looked like it was in good shape. So I, I bid just over a dollar for them king conan number five and so far i'm completely thrilled because just 
Those daredevils alone make it worth it. Thor number 319. This one's a little bit of roll on the spine, but still not that bad. All right, Dazzler number five. Looks like it's in really good shape. Oh, wow. I can't believe I... And there's a lot more comics. I think there's like 70 to 80 comics, and this is just the first stack. Kazar number one. Oh, sh... Kazar number two. <laughs> All right, I see something else coming up in the stack. You might sort of see it right there. Oh, oh crud. All right. Uh, these are sticky though. These have old tape that's kind of become sticky with age. So Kazar number three, Kazar number four. Okay. Kazar number five. Again, I don't remember seeing this in the stack, but Avengers 223, another key issue. It's in uh, maybe a very fine, it has a little bit of a dog eared corner there. But other than that, it looks like it's really nice shape. So again, uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure of the value, but at least maybe $20. <sighs> oh, this is fun. I love buying mystery lots when they actually sort of pay out. Okay, we got Hercules number two, Hercules number one, uh, Kzar number 18. That one has a dog-eared corner. Kzar 13. You know, I do remember this lot having Daredevil comic books, and that might have been the reason why I bought this lot. Hoping that I would get a lot of the Electra era Daredevil stuff. I found, okay, Kazar number 13. And we have another one here. Daredevil number 182. It's probably just a fine because the spine is a bit rolled. Still worth a bit though. Oh man. Whew. Okay, gotta catch my breath. So that first stack, the Avengers iconic Hawkeye with Ant Man cover, the whole stack of those Daredevils with Electra, Daredevil 182. Wow, I can't believe I've had this lot sitting in my bedroom for six months, maybe. I didn't even know I had all this treasure sitting there waiting for me. Oh, this is fun. This is gonna make me want to find more comic books. <laughs> oh man, oh my gosh. Uh, if there's like a Daredevil 158, that's what a key issue I know I don't have. That would just make this the perfect lot. Not worth as much, but still a cool Frank Miller era Daredevil. Daredevil number 186. I think he just wrote that one. Okay, a uh, second copy of Marvel Team Up number 96 with Howard the Duck. That's cool. I like in duplicates because I can sell them. And it's a really cool issue in pretty good shape. All right, this is cool. We got Dazzler number one. I bet this thing's going up in value. Cool. Okay, Dazzler number two. Oh, these are all in such good shape. I mean... Even the beat up ones are still fine plus, very fine minus. These are cool, they're sticky though. I'm gonna have to rebag and board all these. Uh, Dazzler number three, Dazzler number four. Uh, okay, another Daredevil 182, awesome. Oh man, okay, the value is in this lot. I'm A lot of times I say to myself, oh, should I be spending a dollar a comic book? But if it's got all these like 10, 15, 20 dollar comics mixed in, uh, definitely worth it. All right, Defenders number 90, Defenders number 107, Micronauts number 37, and all these kind of cheaper Bronze Age stuff still worth a couple bucks a piece. So even the filler stuff between the good ones are still decent comics. Defenders number 89. Plus, I mean, they're just awesome storylines and awesome artwork. It's the stuff I love to collect. Defenders 100, that one's a bit beat up. First beat up issue, uh, Micronauts number 40. That's cool. I love toy based comics from the 70s and 80s uh dazzler number five. Oh, this is cool micronauts number one okay we have some uncanny x-men i wasn't expecting that i mean it's not a super valuable issue but maybe there will be some mixed in here still a cool issue though it's maybe like a five six dollar comic number 162 okay thor 323 oh man okay this lot is awesome all right silver surfer number one that's cool Dazzler number 15. Okay, so stack number two had a couple of better issues that are more expensive. And the right, I mean, just every issue is pretty awesome, though. It's not like it's a bunch of garbage with a couple of expensive issues. It's actually all nice Bronze Age stuff. A lot of stuff that if I went to like a, a thrift store and they were priced a buck a piece, a lot of these I probably would have grabbed because a dollar is a great price on them. So getting them in like a surprise lot like this with a bunch of the more expensive stuff mixed in. Oh, this is an awesome lot. And the bottom stack here has a 15 cent comic on the cover. So I don't know what else is in there. Okay, Whew. this is fun. Thor 308. That's a cool cover. Again, great shape. Thor 307, great shape. Savage Sword of Conan the Magazine. That's uh, number 79. Okay. Is this a first print? It's the death of Captain Marvel. 
I'm pretty sure it says either on the first page, you know, either there or there. If it was a second or third printing, I'm pretty sure it would say here. So I think this is the first print. It's not uh, perfect. It's got a little bit of wear. So I think in that condition, probably like a $25 to $30 comic. That's pretty awesome. Wow, I can't believe that was in there. Okay, what if 27? That's cool. That's very cool, actually. What if number 32? King Conan. And if I miss anything in here that you think has a lot of value, let me know. Because I don't know everything off the top of my head, but I'm pretty good with this era of comics. Uh, Conan number 133. Thor 318. This lot is just awesome. I'm so happy with it so far. Iron Man 157. There's two copies of that. Uh, again, I don't mind duplicates. It means I can get some of my money back and it makes all the stuff that's worth a lot even cheaper. <laughs> okay, Iron Man 158. Iron Man number 140. This must have been from someone's store collection or something. I can't, or maybe it was a collector that was hoarding on to multiple copies because there's two copies of that. There's another copy of this. Thor 318. Conan 133. Micronauts number 41. Okay, so the third little stack of comics, it had that one awesome graphic novel and a bunch of interesting, you know, 2 or $3 comics. All right, let's look at the last stack. The last stack has early Bronze Age on the front, 15 cent cover. So who knows what's in this stack? I probably spotted one or two of the Daredevils in this lot. Saw some other older stuff and gave it a go. I'm guessing that's what, I don't remember seeing five copies of the one issue because that kind of blows my mind away. You know, if you're going to get five or something, if it's one of the most expensive ones in the collection, then that's that's awesome. Okay, got that open. We got Astonishing Tales number five. Uh, got a little bit of wear on the spine, but it's definitely like a, a fine plus, maybe. That's a beautiful copy for that age. That is awesome. That's another reason why I probably bid on it, because I saw some of these. And here's number four, also in pretty good shape. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, Micronauts number 29. Micronauts number 37, X-Men crossover, that's cool. John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number 3, annual. Fantasy Masterpieces, number 5. Micronauts number 37, again, another duplicate. Lots of duplicates. <laughs> don't mind, though. I don't mind duplicates, because I can add one to my collection if I don't have it, and then the rest can go into my shop, and I can get some of my money back or make a profit even, so that's good. Micronauts number 41. Okay, Iron Man 158. A Master of Kung Fu, number 111. Savage Sword of Conan, number 74. Iron Man, number 157. Savage Sword of Conan, number 78. And Savage Sword of Conan, number 73. So that's the whole lot. I can't say anything. <laughs> I'm speechless. Awesome lot. I would pay $70 for that lot all day long. So much value in that lot. So many nice, more valuable comic books. So many nice... You know, even this stuff is awesome to me. I love it. And it's in... Really nice shape. I mean, this one's maybe a very fine because it has a couple of spine ticks. But for that era of stuff, everything looks to be in really great condition. Oh my gosh. I love it. Uh, and like stuff like this. Uh, I don't off the top of my head. I'm guessing that's like a $5 comic. It might be more. Uh, I don't know. And then you know, stuff like this that actually has a lot of value. That is awesome. Uh, such a great lot. Thumbs up to that lot. Okay, let's open up this box. Let's see what's inside it. Okay, let's open up this box. It's a mystery box. This was a one of those lots where I kind of saw what the pictures were, but you don't quite see what's in it. I like finding random lots. I think might have something nice for a good price. It was $26. I believe it was around 70 comics, so 33 cents a comic. That's not that bad, depending on what's in here. Now, it did arrive with this busted corner, so hopefully the comics inside are all right. Okay, this one, uh, oh man, this one I bought. Oh, this was, this is old. This is at least six months ago I got it. <laughs> uh, I buy these mystery lots for my channel because it's fun and I like doing the content. But I, uh, yeah, I bought this in July. Wow. So I just haven't had time to do comic videos. So I've kind of backed up. But uh, I'm excited to begin through these all this week. Okay, so in the box they had them in these paper bricks. So hopefully everything is okay inside. Corners look like they got a little bit dinged, but not the end of the world. Because I remember it's sort of a semi-mystery lot and I paid about 33 cents a piece. So it's one of those things where I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting gold. If I get gold, that's awesome. But, you know, it's a crapshoot. Okay, this is kind of a cool sideways cover. Secret Avengers number 16. Uh, Secret Avengers number 17. 
I don't remember what I saw in the picture. Usually th these kind of lots, usually they're like in a stack and you see a, a few of the covers. I don't remember what jumped out at me in the slot. So we'll find out. Secret Avengers number 18. Secret Avengers number 19. So it looks like there's a whole run of these. Secret Avengers number 20. Secret Avengers number 21. Secret Avengers number 21.1. .1. Secret Avengers number 22. That look, yeah, that's an Arthur Adams cover. That's cool. Uh, Sergio Aragonis, Funnies number one. I love Sergio Aragonis. He's one of my favorite. He might be my favorite comic artist. So that could have been something that made me jump out to get it. Okay, we got Secret Service number four. Mark Millar comics. Uh, Secret Service number two. All right, these are kind of cool. For 33 cents, these are cool comics to pick up. Secret Service number three. Secret Service number one. Okay, I see why. I bought this lot. <laughs> Secret Avengers number 23. I believe that's the first appearance of Agent Venom. All right, so that's probably like a $15 comic book. So that's definitely why you bought this lot. Very cool. Arthur Adams cover. First appearance of Agent Venom. 33 cents for that. That's an awesome price. He 26 for everything. So pays for half the lot, basically. And I'm not selling. I'm probably keeping that for now. Very cool. Okay, we got uh, Secret Avengers number 24. These are actually pretty cool covers, too. I think it's all Arthur Adams stuff. So um, this lot's actually a lot of fun. All right, Secret Avengers number 25. I know I have some of them, but I don't know if I have all of them. Number 26. Number 27. Number 28. Number 29. I like that cover. That's a cool cover. And number 30, also a really awesome cover. Venom versus Taskmaster. That's actually a really dope cover. Uh, Secret Avengers number 37. That's the last one. Uh, okay. Now we have Screamland number one. This is actually a really cool cover. I like that. You got like a robot, werewolf, a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon kind of creature. I don't know that dude and like a, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks cool. Screamland number two. Okay, we got Screamland number three. Secret Avengers number 12. Secret Avengers 12.1. Marvel Onslaught Unleashed number one. Marvel Onslaught Unleashed number two. Secret Avengers 15 with a gray autograph cover. Like that. Secret Avengers number 31. Secret Avengers number 32. Secret Avengers number 33. Secret Avengers number 34. Secret Avengers number 35. I really like that cover too. All these Arthur Adam covers are awesome. I, I'm happy just to get a bunch of his covers, not even including the one key issue. I just finally get all these covers for 33 cents. Secret Avengers number 36. Secret Avengers number 10. Uh, Shield number 2. Screamland number 4. These are cool. I really like the covers on these. I wonder if the storylines are good. Screamland number 5. Secret Avengers number 1. Secret Avengers number two. Secret Avengers number three. Even though some of these did get their corners dinged, it looks like it mostly was on the boards and not the comics themselves, so that's good. I'm actually happy about that. Secret Avengers number four. Secret Avengers number five. Secret Avengers number six. Secret Avengers number seven. It looks like I get almost all the issues in this set, I guess. <laughs> Secret Avengers number eight. Secret Avengers number nine. Uh, more of the Secret Service, number five. That's cool. I mean, that, that's a cool part of the lot as well. Oh, this is cool. Strange Tales, number one. I think that's a Paul Pope cover. I think, yeah. I mean, he did the cover, and it looks like he did the interiors as well. Or he did some of the interiors. That's cool. Very cool. I'd pick that up any day for 33 cents. I think that was a good price. This is a very cool lot. I'm actually very happy with this lot. Secret Service, number six. Sergio Aragonis Funnies number six. These are cool too. I mean, these I could have bought the lot just for these and didn't know that the Agent Venom was in there. That, that I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I bought the lot. I don't know why I did. Again, I would have bought the lot just for these as well. And number eight. I mean, those if I paid two bucks a piece, you know, there's what five I would pay ten dollars for those. Okay. Oh, this one got a little bit too dinged. It's all right though. It's a cheap comic. At least I think it's a cheap comic. Okay, shield, that was five. Shield number four. Shield number three. Shield number one. Another Sergio Aragonis Funnies, number two. Number three. Number 12. 
Honestly, if there was 10 or 12 in here, I would have paid that just for these. So that's pretty awesome. Number 11. Definitely a lot of value in this lot. Number 9. Number 10. And I know I didn't have a lot of these. I don't even know if I had any of these yet. So I might have bought the lot just for those. So the first appearance of Age of Venom would have been a bonus. Number 4. Oh, I love these. Number 5. Very awesome. Okay, Secret Avengers number 11. Marvel's Onslaught Unleashed number 3. And number 4. Secret Avengers number 13 with another Audi Granoff cover. And number 14 with another Audi Granoff cover. Very cool. I think there was a lot of value in this lot. I would have paid $26 price just for the Sergio Aragonis comics. Because I think there was like 12 or 13 there. So like 2 bucks a piece. That's a good price with those. You get all that other stuff. I'm happy with that. That was an awesome lot. I love buying sort of like mystery. It wasn't a mystery because I know I saw a few pictures. I usually don't buy blind blind bags. I try to find collections or lots of... You know, some people will occasionally list stuff that they're just trying to clear out. It won't be any specific. Sometimes they'll show all the covers. I don't remember exactly what I saw on this lot, but I do know that I love everything in it. I would, oh man, I feel like I got a lot of value in that. That was a great deal. Let's open up this box and see what's inside it. Okay, I'm gonna open up this My Comic Shop box. This was, again, a month or two ago. I don't remember the exact date. They always have these, they use these like boxes that they fold together, put the comics in. They do a good job shipping them. Okay, inside the comics are taped to this piece of cardboard. So my comic shop, uh, their prices are okay. They're not the best prices, but they're not the worst prices. But occasionally they will have stuff that's a really great price. So what usually happens is if I'm looking for a specific comic book, I look on there if I want it or if they have it and it's like two or three bucks, I'll put it in my cart and then kind of forget about it. And then I'll repeat that process. And every few months, once I hit like $10, $20, I'll actually make the purchase because the stuff stays in your cart for a long term. You just have to have an account. Because usually I don't find enough stuff that I want that I think is a good price in one go. So I just, it takes me a while before I place an order, but every once in a while, they'll have enough stuff that I want to buy that I'll make a purchase. And that's mostly because, uh, you know me, I buy a lot of collections, so I don't really need to go out of my way to find specific issues, but every once in a while, I will. Okay, so first we have FF number one. That was a Michael Arrowhead variant. I think it was only like a buck, and I put it in my cart months ago. And just, you know, it's one of those things that I want to buy, but I wasn't ready to check out. Okay, we got uh, Captain America number Number four, this was, uh, it might have been a 1 in 50 variant. I'm not sure. I just thought it was a really cool cover. Oh, here we go. Let me check the invoice. I can tell you the prices I paid for each thing. So I paid two bucks for the FF, and uh, this one I paid a dollar and 44 cents. Okay, now we have the all new, all different Avengers number two variant. That, I'm a big Miss Marvel fan. So I'll buy any comic with her on the cover. That one was five bucks. Okay, and then we got, oh, this one's cool. Okay, Supergirl number 13. This is one I really wanted, and this is what prompted me to make the order, because I didn't have that one yet. And that one was cover price, four bucks. But I love uh, Art, you know, Stanley Lau Art Germs covers, especially the Supergirl one, so that's really cool. Okay, we got Wonder Woman number 29, the variant. That's uh, the Jenny Friesen variant. That was $3. I really want to get all of those, because they're really cool. Uh, Justice League of America number two, Red Tornado variant. That was a dollar and 70 cents. Miss Marvel number 18. This is one I've had in my shopping cart with them for a long time. It's, uh, I just love the cutesy anime style of it. I think it's a great cover. That one was, uh, five bucks. I believe it was five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. So that's one I've had in my cart with them for a while. So again, like I said, I wanted the Supergirl comic and I finally, I had all these other comic books that I've put in my cart over the last like six months. Okay. Then we got Uncanny Avengers number one. This is a Jeff Darrow variant. That's one I also really wanted that I had that in my cart for a while. That one was four bucks. And the last one I got in this package was Wonder Woman number 28, another Jenny Friesen cover. I love that. And that one was three bucks. So I definitely, I need to find the rest of her covers that she's done with Wonder Woman. I really like them. I think they're great. All right, so that was a cool box. That Again, that was nothing, you know, no super deals. I pretty much paid Marketplace for everything, but it was all stuff that I've been sort of slowly putting into my cart over months. And what I do is I put them in the cart if I think it's a good price. And then once I hit that like 20, 30 bucks, then I, yeah, the total was uh, $34 with shipping. So, you know, it's $5 shipping usually. So I don't want to buy one comic for a buck and then pay five shipping. So I usually wait till I feel like it's worth paying for the shipping for the amount of comics in the package. Very cool. Let's open up this box and see what's inside it. 
Next, I'm opening up this box. This came from Facebook. It's a guy I've purchased from a few times. I believe it was $40 for the box. Uh, he seems to list these boxes once a week, maybe. And if it has stuff that I'm interested in, I will pick it up. If you look at the day on this thing, it's September 18th. So yeah, it's been a few months. All right, so it looks like he packaged it pretty well. He always does. Every time I get stuff from him, I'm happy. It's a bunch of newspaper and then it's bubble wrap in the middle. I kind of forget what was in this box. So <laughs> this whole video is going to be shocked at everything I got because I don't remember any of it. It's been months. Okay, so in the box was this brick bubble wrapped. He usually his lots are either like cooler 80s stuff or modern stuff. And I'll buy either. Usually the 90s stuff I avoid are if he has 90s stuff, I usually don't buy it. Because 90 stuff, it just, I have so much of it and it's easy to get. I'm not really looking to fill in that collection. It's Okay, so I got it all out of the brick and it looks like it was a whole stack of G.I. Joe comic books. I love G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is a toy line and a comic book and a cartoon that I loved in the 80s. So he probably had them for under a dollar a piece. It's probably like 75 cents a piece, something like that. So I'll buy any 80s G.I. Joe comic books for that cheap because I... They sell well in my shop for two to three bucks, sometimes more if it's some of the earlier issues. And if I don't have it in my collection, I like filling in my collection. So this is a definitely awesome purchase. So we have G.I. Joe number six. I think this is a reprint just because uh, that looks off. It's The price is too high. Yeah, it's a second printing, but some of these second printings are kind of harder to find. So I don't mind second printings on the G.I. Joe stuff. Yeah, second printing number eight. And I'm not sure if I have the second printings. I know I have all the first printings. Yeah, second printing number 11. I believe these came in like multi-packs when you would have bought them back in the day. You would have bought them three at a time in a little package from like Caldors. Uh, okay, that's number 12. I think that's also a second print. G.I. Joe number 17. That looks like a first print. G.I. Joe number 19. All these are in really good shape too. I'd say at least very fines on most of these. G.I. Joe number 32. G.I. Joe number 34. I love this era of G.I. Joe. Just great artwork, fun storylines. It really just sends me back in time. All right, G.I. Joe number 36, great cover. G.I. Joe number 37. G.I. Joe number 40. I wonder if this whole lot was G.I. Joe. I mean, if it is, that's really awesome. G.I. Joe number 44. I'll, some of these might actually be condition upgrades for what I have because they're all in really nice shape. G.I. Joe 45, G.I. Joe 46, G.I. Joe 47, G.I. Joe 48, G.I. Joe 49. That issue is one of the first comics I remember going to the comic shop to pick up when it was brand new. That was from one of the first couple of months when I started going regularly every week to the comic shop. Uh, G.I. Joe number 54, G.I. Joe number 55, number 57, number 58, number 59. Okay, number 60, number 61, number 62, number 63, number 64, number 65, number 66, number 67, number 68. Okay, and then we got G.I. Joe Special Missions, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, Number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13. I might be missing one of these or two of these. Number 19, number 25, and number 27. So that's a pretty cool lot. I definitely bought those just because I needed G.I. Joe comics in my store. So I will pick up G.I. Joe lots like this every once in a while when they sell out. Like I'll, I like to keep maybe 50 in the shop and then once I sell out a bunch of them, then I'll try to find another collection. And then I look at the ones I already own and I usually swap out the better condition ones or I look for, like I try to keep both the newsstand and the direct market versions. So I love buying collections like this and I'm pretty sure I got that for a great price. Probably 75 cents a piece, which is a really good price for those. Cool. Uh, I really I need to figure out a way to get through these videos faster because some of the stuff just sits around for months on end and uh, it means I drain my money and then I have to wait a long time before I get it back. Let's dig through these bags and see what's inside them. Okay, let's uh, dig through these two bags of comic books. I bought these from a friend oh, months ago. I don't remember how much I paid. I believe it was like 40 bucks. 
and I kind of forget what was in each bag. So this will be fun. Okay, we got the Astonishing Ant-Man number five. So I think this was a lot of newer stuff that he had bought, read, and then didn't want anymore. Which he does every once in a while. I'd say like once or twice a year, he just clears out his collection of stuff he's read. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 24. Martian Manhunter number three. And I'm pretty sure most of this stuff, I gave him around a buck a piece on average. Maybe 50 cents. Uh, kind of depending on what it was. Last Days of Ant-Man number one variant edition. That's cool. Uh, Captain America number four. X-Men 92. That's a pretty cool cover. Uh, Injection number three. Martian Manhunter number one. Armor Wars number two. A lot of this newer stuff I just don't know that much about because I haven't read it yet and I haven't really gone out of my way to put the sets together. One of these days I gotta store everything I have and figure out what I need. But I just, I love buying newer comics for a good price just to fill in the collection. 18 Days number one. And I don't know if any of this stuff has any greater value than cover price. But uh, it's still cool. I love picking up a ton of newer stuff for a good price. Batman Beyond number two. X Men 92 number one. Uh, all new X-Men number 15. I guess these are all from last year. Nova number 25. Ant-Man number 2. That's kind of a cool cover. Martian Manhunter number 2. Ant-Man number 5. And I th I don't think I had a lot of these. I think these are a lot of ones I needed. Inhumans, Adelon Rising number 1. All new X-Men number 39. All new X-Men number 38. These might be duplicates. Earth 2 Society number 3. Uh, going through most of these now, I'm pretty sure I paid about 50 cents a piece for most of them. Because I don't think any of these jumped out as rare or more valuable to me. Injection number 4. X-Men 92 number 2. Batman Beyond number 3. I've had these in my filming room here for months, though. <laughs> I've been kind of tripping over them, so I'm happy to finally get them out and kind of start sorting them. Captain America number 5. Spider-Man number 11. The Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man. Earth 2 number 32. Nova number 27. Uh, Nova number 26. All new X-Men number 37. Earth 2 number 29. Uh, Earth 2 Society number 1, Injection number 1, Injection number 2, and uh, All New Captain America number 6. So that was the first bag. Let's go through the other bag. Uncanny Avengers number 1, Hip Hop Variant. That's actually cool. I might have paid him more than a dollar for that. Deadpool vs. Thanos number 4. That's cool. Uh, okay, I guess bag number 2 might have been the better bag. Deadpool number 37. Spider Gwen number 5. That's a cool cover too. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 700.1. Alright, so this bag was definitely the better bag so far. I might, well, I think the first bag was 50 cents and then this might have been like the dollar bag. Amazing Spider Man number 700.2. Power Man and Iron Fist number 1. Uh, regular show, I believe this is the number 1, but it's the Virgin variant. That's really cool. Spider Gwen, What the Duck, number three, variant edition. That's cool. Howard the Duck, number 19. That one looks like it's in really great shape for a Bronze Age comic. Got uh, Deadpool vs. Thanos, number one, action figure variant. Deadpool vs. Thanos, number two, another variant edition. And uh, Descender, number one. That's cool. I think that one's worth a little bit more now. I've been so busy doing Funko Pop videos and other kind of videos, I just haven't been keeping up with comic books, and I kind of miss it. So this is going to be a fun week for me. All new dupe number two. Michael Alred covers. I love these. All new dupe number one. All new X-Men number 26. Green Lantern number 19. Uh, Deadpool and the Mercs for Money number one variant edition. Deadpool vs. Thanos number three. Detective Comics number 31, Earth 2 number 27, Witches issue number 1, Origin 2 number 4, Justice League United number 0, All New X-Men number 31, and Magneto number 8. Okay. 
I completely forgot what was in these bags. I mean, there's some interesting stuff, but nothing's jumping out as something that I really, really wanted to own. Although some of the hip-hop variants are cool, and some of the other variants are cool. Uh, Earth 2, number 24. Astonishing Ant-Man, number 1. This is a really cool cover. Black Magic, issue number 1. The Uncanny Avengers, number 2. Nova, number 1. Black Vortex. I'm not sure the number on that. Nova number 23. Nova tw number 24. Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man number 6. A Magneto number 11. Earth 2 Society number 4. Martian Manhunter number 4. Injection number 5. Batman Beyond number 4. Survivor's Club number one. Is anything jumping out at you as something that's gone up a key issue or anything? Like Let me know in the comments below because I don't know much about this newer stuff. Batman Beyond number five. Spider-Gwen number four. Ant-Man number four. It's got kind of like an 80s Miami Vice look. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And Radioactive Spider-Gwen number two. Okay, so that is that whole entire set of bags. I mean, it was some cool stuff. A lot of newer stuff, some stuff I definitely wanted, but uh, nothing jumping out as like, oh my god, I have to have that. <laughs> I completely forgot what was in that bag, so it was kind of a mystery. <laughs> okay, that was a ton of fun. I'm sweating and tired from opening up all these boxes of comics. Some of it was a little boring. The two black bags, I was just like, oh, you know, it's newer stuff. It wasn't anything exciting. One box with all the late bronze, early copper age stuff. Oh, that lot was awesome awesome i got so much value out of that lot lots of cool issues i also like the stuff from my comic shop i like the gi joe comic books i had fun with this video if you guys enjoyed this video and you're subscribing to my channel because you love the comic videos let me know in the comments below because i want to do more comic videos i just a lot of them don't get a lot of views so i don't know if it's what you guys want to see but if a lot of you keep telling me, do them, I will do them because I love doing comic videos. I'm hoping I can get back to doing at least one a week. That's what I was doing for about a month and a half. But then I I got overloaded with so many Funko Pops. And now I'm kind of broke at the moment. So I'm going to catch up on all my comic videos. Try to finish up all the Funko Pop stuff I have. And then uh, finish out the year just going through everything I have. And then hopefully the beginning of next year, I can get back on track to doing a weekly comic haul. Because I this is fun. I had so much fun opening up all these boxes. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If this is the first time you're watching my content and you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. I like making videos for my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.